Hi, this is Peggy Arvidson, and I am the Awaken Your Soul Coach. I help artists, solopreneurs, healers, teachers, and especially writers fine-tune their communication skills so that they can enhance their message, get their message across so that they can help other people the way that they feel called to, so they can live their purpose right now. Uh, the process is absolutely ignited through the communication map in their hands. Um, as an example of how hands can speak to you and others about the best way to get your message out to the world, I have been providing these little five minute or so mini readings uh, using the video cam on my laptop. Clearly. Um, I'm not the most technical person when it comes to these things, but it's so important to me that we get this message out. So today's mini reading is for Paula Drake. And um, here is a nice color photo of Paula's hand. Can you see how nice that is? She sent me a scan, and if you want your hands to be read, just send me a scan of your dominant hand. This is perfect so that I can print it out. It should be a JPEG. Uh, you can send it to Peggy, P-E-G-G-I-E, -G -G -E, at Peggy Arvidson, A-R-V-I-D-S-O-N dot com, and I'll put you into the queue. Roughly, I uh, do these mini readings uh, every other month or so, and then we post them up to YouTube and on the Facebook group. So, the first thing that jumps out at me in Paula's hand I want to make sure you can see it here, is she's got a little freckle right here, right here in her hand. So um, that's the lower moon zone of her hand, and freckles, scars, warts, and other such markings, um, they're not accidents. They draw the eye to those places in the hand, and they're there because they are providing some level of significance for the person who owns the hand. Now, Paula, it seems to me that you're well aware of the inner vision of a bright and vibrant world. Uh, you live with it every day. That's what this freckle is here to remind you of. Um, now, when we have freckles in different places, and I actually have a freckle myself, so I am a little sensitive. I've got one right here. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting the way it is. Sorry about that, people. But I do have one below my pinky, and um, it has very special meaning to me. I'm very uh, drawn to that. So, uh, Paula, you tend to be very active. You have symbolic dreams, probably in your waking life. You've got a great sense of intuition or knowing what's going to happen next. Um, and uh, you always seem maybe to be in the right place at the right time. A lot. The challenge can be that you're stuffing these little intuitive hits or insights away, that you are um, thinking to yourself, well, this is just too much information. I'll get to it later. I'll sit down and think about it, figure out what it really means. Uh, now, when you have the markers in the zone of your hand, the message is clear. Stop stuffing your intuitive senses down. Start listening to them. I use a little three letter process. I, I simply act on the information I receive when it comes to me uh, intuitively, whether it's through your gut feelings or whether it's through um, little visions that you may have. You need to act on it. You need to acknowledge it. You need to say, hey, I just got that message and um, now I'm acting on it. Thanks for the message. You know, acknowledge it. Say thank you to, uh, to, the, to the powers that be for sending you this intuitive message. And then you, um, if you're still confused, if you don't really know exactly what, what, what it was all about, don't stuff it away. Ask for more information. That's the best way to continue the intuitive flow, if you will. Um, so I call that my AAA system <laughs> to greater intuitive wisdom. It works for me. It's worked for a number of other folks that I work with closely. So hopefully that will help you if you're not if you're missing one of those points, sometimes um, it can be frustrating and you can keep stuffing those feelings away. The key here is that uh, your true intuition or insight comes real fast. It comes quickly and it seems like it's coming out of nowhere. So you don't, when it's real, you don't have time to second guess it. If you start second guessing it and thinking that you have an emotional attachment to the outcome, whatever it may be, it may not actually be an intuitive hit. It just may be wishful thinking. Um, so don't think it over. Don't psych yourself out. If you've got a hunch, go with it. Um, so the key to this remarker, marker in this part of your hand, way down here, is this little freckle that you have, is uh, to remind yourself to trust your intuition and your inner guidance. So it's amazing how much we can find in that 
one little mark on the hand. And of course, there's always so much in one person's hands that it's very difficult to cover it all in just five short minutes. But um, I hope that helps some. I really appreciate you, uh, Paula, giving us uh, your hand to take a look at. And I hope you, my viewers, enjoyed that little insight into Paula and her hand. If you want a deeper reading, feel free to give me a call or email Peggy at PeggyArvidson.com. My website is IntuitiveEvolution.com. I look forward to working with each of you and helping you find your voice and get your message out into the world today so you can change the world. Thank you. <laughs>